In today's video, we will learn the key to a rotation or a roll that will make us swim faster and with less effort. Are you ready? I'm Rafa Soriano and this is Efficient Swimming. Hello swimmers. Today we return to talk about the roll or body rotation because many of you have doubts about how much to rotate, how far we can rotate, or what is the correct inclination for the right inclination, or what is the correct inclination for each person. What we have to be clear about is that the arms must always be aligned with the shoulders as marked by these two lines. The arms should always be here. Right now, I have my arms on the lines, but I am totally flat in the water. Here I would suffer a lot of resistance and we know that swimming flat in the water makes us swim slower and with more effort. So we have to always swim sideways. So the moment I go sideways, this line approaches the other one because now my shoulder is here and this now is my entry point. If I place this line on top of each other, I will be sinking. At this moment, many things happen because the body detects this sinking and starts to look for solutions to be able to compensate in some way. One of them, for example, is a swimmer who rotates too much. It would be to spread the legs too far apart. This is a classic of this movement in order to balance and stabilize and prevent the body from sinking and prevent the body from sinking. Another problem that often occurs is the arm coming out too far above the body because I'm over rotated and unbalanced or that this arm crosses, or even that the arm that is in front of us gliding helps us in some way by pushing down in order to avoid this same sinking. So we know that we know that the arms have to be aligned, we can't be flat. But when we move, this line comes closer to each other. This position, this approach is what we have to look for. Here you will mark the inclination between this shoulder and this other shoulder. So the entry of the hand is key for us to the right point. We bring the arm slightly outward to keep the arm in the correct swim line. And the entry line is now here. It's no longer this one. But if I come in on this line, as we've talked about in previous videos, my shoulder will go back to its swim line and I would be back to being with my arm crossed. If this arm is crossed, I'll be encouraging this shoulder to go over the other one and I'll be again in this line, over the other one. And I will be again with this shoulder on top and I will be sinking once again. All the movements that we do encourage rotation. They help us with the rotation of the body. So we already have a movement that makes us and facilitates rotation, which is the entry. If I enter here and I move my arm correctly, my body rotates and I have the correct body tilt here. One thing this arm which is helping us to rotate is also helping us to stabilize. Remember that if this arm is in, we encourage the shoulder to come back on top of the other one and the two lines would be on top of each other. So the same arm that is facilitating the rotation and weight shift is also stabilizing us. The other arm also does the same thing. The grip, when we're gripping with the high elbow, this will also be helping the body rotate. If this arm that has helped me with the rotation is now moving correctly, it keeps me stable in the water. It keeps me stable in the water. But if this arm that has helped me rotate comes out backwards, what we will be doing is bringing the shoulder once again on top of the other one the arm at the end of the grip movement must return during the recovery on the outside of our body until it reaches its entry point once again. If the arm goes upward or backward, it will cause us to become unbalanced once again. Another movement that we also do that facilitates our rotation would be the kick. If I enter with this hand, I would be kicking with the opposite leg. This kick makes my body rotate and right now I have the leg that kicked which stays down and the other leg which is the one that stabilizes the position because if I relax this leg and I lose this X shape with the legs this leg is placed on top 
and right now I am with one hip on top of the other one and I am with the body. Also overdrawn, I would also be falling. We cannot have the legs in a double L shape, but we have to keep this X shape. We have to keep this X shape, this little PED flap at the end, it stabilizes the position of the body. When I finish my grip and my arm comes out over here or behind here, it ends up that this exit of the arm makes us lose the balance of the legs as well. The errors add up. If we keep one leg stable, even if the arm movement is bad, the error is not so serious because one cancels out the other a little bit. That is why there are people who make a mistake with the recovery, but if they have stable legs, it doesn't affect them so much. But a swimmer, both mistakes at the same time, they go down. And that's where the problems start. Problems start. He will lower his front arm to compensate. He will spread his legs too far apart to compensate. To sum up, all the movements we make serve to rotate the body, but they also serve to stabilize the rotation. So, weight shift on entry helps me to rotate. The grip helps me to rotate, the pass helps me to rotate. The recovery stabilizes me. The arm coming in and staying aligned stabilizes me. And the kick, the leg that kicks, stays firmly down. And the other one is the one that stabilizes me as well, so I don't over rotate. The lean. Every person has one. What can't happen is, we can't be flat and we can't put it on top of each other either. We have any point between these two? These two lines, it would be correct the faster you go. The more rotation we tend to have here. If we go a little bit slower, we can go a little bit more open. A little bit more open, what you can't be is totally flat because we wouldn't have room to recover. We can't be totally rotated. I hope this video has been very useful. If you liked it, don't forget to leave your like and share this video. See you in the comments and in the next video, because I will not rest until you are an efficient swimmer.